All right, here's something on how to s install EPSXE for all those who have trouble installing it for games. If you download the emulator, I'm going to leave in the description the same link as I did the other tutorial. Um, the only thing you have to do is set up the plugins and the BIOS. The main thing here is the BIOS, so go to config, BIOS. Gonna come to this screen, just click select. I gave you many to choose from, but I honestly recommend this one right here. The uh, 1001.bin. Click open, okay, and there you go. You just set up your BIOS. Second thing you're gonna do is set up your video. If you want the game to look good, um, you don't have to use the same plugin I use, but I'm gonna use Pizza D, well, whatever this is. Go to test first, plugin working correctly, awesome. Go to configure, and then this comes up. Now you don't have to worry about any of that, just look right down here. You have default settings, fast and nice. If your computer's a little bit choppy and it lags just in the gameplay without you recording it or anything, click on fast. But if you have pretty good specs and you want a nice HD looking game, click on nice. And depending on your desktop resolution, you're going to select that also. Mine is this. And I want it in full screen mode, not window mode. Right after that, just in case your uh, game was a little bit choppy on some aspects click screen smoothing that way it'll cancel out the pixels it'll make it look nice and good disable screen saver so your screen saver doesn't overpower your gameplay and special game fixes now when you click this you're gonna get all these options I strongly recommend everyone to check off where is it this one right here odd dash even bit hack it makes everything work way better you don't have to check off the same things I do, because if you're playing Final Fantasy VII, obviously you're going to want to check this one off. But here are the ones I checked off. Alright, so right after you do the fast or nice, again, you don't have to worry about anything else over here. Just do fast or nice. And the special game fixes. Going to click OK. Test again. Everything's working. Everything's alright. Going to click OK. Second thing you do is sound. Now this one's a little bit annoying because when you play some games, sometimes Final Fantasy IX, the sound doesn't play in CGI parts. So what you're going to do to avoid that is you're going to check the first one and the third one. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but I know that if you're watching a CGI in Final Fantasy IX, seven, or eight, or even playing Legend of Ligaya, something like that, the CGI is going to include the sound. Right after that, you're going to click Configure. And, uh, well, all these should be checked off. Well, not these three. But this is how it should look like. And this is the volume level, so if your game is way too loud, even though your computer volume is low, you can change it. Low, medium, loud, whatever. Alright, third thing you're going to do is CD-ROM. Uh, you can just pick whichever. It doesn't really matter. Unless you actually have the CDs and want to use them on your computer. It's not really going to matter which one you pick. And if you have your controller, and if you watch my other tutorial on how to set up the gamepad, you can just set it up that way. You go to the gamepad, and then you plug in your controller via DS3 tool, and you just keep tapping the buttons according to which one you see here. And that is pretty much how you set up EPSXE. Like, I got mine set up, and file, run ISO. Go to my, uh, play Final Fantasy IX, what do you know? There you go. These are my settings for EPSXE Final Fantasy IX. Enjoy and happy gaming!